happy, what is it, Tuesday night. Thank you for tuning in. I'm super excited to share this story with you um, and how I got to be where I'm at today. Um, it's been a long five years, but it's been full of adventure and growth, and I'm super just passionate about this. And then most of you know that I just got back from a leadership conference that my team and I earned this summer and when we were there we discussed how important it is to share your story and to share all parts of it so that's kind of what I want to do with you guys tonight is where I was before coaching why I started coaching and what's changed in my life since becoming a Beachbody coach so I grew up in Michigan my husband and I met um, at Grand Valley and then shortly after meeting we got um, got married and then we moved to Florida. So we just moved back uh, less than a year ago. Uh, so we're back in Michigan. I'm one of four kids um, and I grew up in a home that was um, based out of a Christian, we were a Christian home, we grew up that way. Um, but it wasn't until later that I really found my relationship with Christ and started living that way. I always um, had really low self-esteem. I followed the crowd. I really struggled with what other people thought of me, their opinion of me, and um, just really struggled with confidence in, in myself. And that was something that I evolved with with coaching. And so we're gonna. I'll talk more about that later. Um, but as I went into high school and college, that low self-esteem and that following the crowd, and I don't want to say a people pleaser, but I just. I really just went along with what everyone else was doing, whether I thought it was right or wrong or something that I would do in my comfort zone or out of my comfort zone. I just went along with it. Um, I didn't think about what I wanted or who I was or what my core values were. And so all through high school and college, um, I didn't live the best life. Uh, my parents will um, probably agree with that, but I went through a series of bad breakups. and. I didn't realize it then, um, but those bad breakups and just kind of defined what I thought of myself and how I valued myself or didn't didn't value myself, I guess. And so those breakups and those relationships and the negativity from those led to um, not just belief about myself, but a belief about my body and that I wasn't good enough, I wasn't pretty enough, I wasn't fit enough or skinny enough. and. I ended up having you know, an eating disorder and a lot of body image issues from high school and college. Um, I had a fear of food. I ended up um, through high school and college just really battling that. I remember being a server at Applebee's in early college and it was really getting really hard to like serve food because I just couldn't fathom somebody eating what I was bringing to their table. It started to really control my life and it wasn't until I met Matt, who is now my husband, um, it wasn't until I met him and I started seeing it affect our relationship and affect him. And I will never forget the day he looked at me and he was like, look, I can't date you, I can't be with you if we can't just go to a movie and have popcorn. Like, that is an important piece. Like, he's like, I wanna go out and have fun. And it wasn't until then that I realized that I had a problem bigger than what I could control. So. I ended up um, in a nutritional counseling uh, therapist, I guess, therapy area, what do you want to call that, um, counselor, and I started to have to track my food. I started to have to put feelings towards foods and talk about my fear of food and talk about um, why I was scared of that or what was going to happen if I ate that and what was going to happen if I didn't run for an hour and a half that day and, and really equate how I was living to what I was feeling and that was a really pivotal point I guess in my life that I didn't like you know you have those moments in life when you can kind of look back on and, and you see that you don't see it full circle at the time but now I do and it was a huge part in the next you know five to seven years of how I would live my life and the thoughts that I would tell myself even after coming out of that nutritional counseling um, so so I, I did the counseling and then at the same time, I also found a trainer at the gym. And when I met her and started working with her, my intent was not to get skinny. I wanted to learn how to exercise effectively. I wanted to learn how to exercise to gain 
some muscle and to gain some tone and some shape and put some muscle mass on my body and just really fell in love with what weights could do for you and how I felt doing that. I felt empowered. I felt strong. And so I continued with that. And she ended up being a professor at Grand Valley State where I had, I graduated with my bachelor's in exercise science. So when I realized that, I was like, okay, I think this is something I want to do. Like, I'm really interested in this. And this has really taken me out of a really dark time that I didn't realize was so dark at the time. So I graduated, um, Grand Valley State with my bachelor's in exercise science with the intent to be a corporate health specialist. Like that was my dream job was to work in the corporate health and wellness field. Um, and so that's what I did. I got my degree. Um, and then shortly after we got our, my degree is when Matt and I got married. So after getting my degree in, at Grand Valley, we moved up to Traverse City and I got a full time personal training position. And I did that for about 18 months. And let me tell you, that was hard. It was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I had this vision of being able to create these exercise plans for people and, and take them through this and help them accomplish that. And I did, and that was so great. But to do that 40 hours a week was very, very taxing emotionally, mentally, and physically. And it's one of those positions that you don't really realize the amount of work that you have to do and then what you get paid. And as much as I loved this dream job, I was quickly realizing that it was not paying me what I thought that it would um, for the time that I was spending. So we did that. I did that. I loved it. Um, and then Matthew and I moved to Florida. He ended up getting a job, a new job. And we were like, now is the time. We don't have kids. We're young. Let's do this. So we moved to Florida. And that's when life really started to change. That is when... Um, we were able to move away from family and friends that were not the greatest influences and we were able to just kind of start over as Matt and Brittany. And that is when I really started to just be like, okay, what does Brittany want? What do I love to do? Um, what, what do I want in life? So moved down there and I ended up getting this dream job of corporate health and wellness. And I did it. I started part-time and then I quickly went to full-time and I worked full-time doing this corporate health and wellness job. I work, worked directly with um, a corporate team and we came up with programs and weight loss things, um, events and um, contests, that's what I wanted, contests to help the employees of this company reach their health benefits, um, hit their goals, and then I also personal trained and did group exercise on the side. So after doing that, um, we got pregnant with the twins when we were down there about nine months. So. Um, it was a whole new world. I was one of the first of mine to have friends, uh, of first of my friends to have babies, and then let alone we were in Florida and no family, no friends, and the friends that I did have didn't have kids. And so I was in this whole new world, and it was kind of lonely because I didn't have a network to reach out to about pregnancy. I didn't have people to talk to about, is this normal, is this not? I didn't have people going through this journey with me and it was really really lonely so I just started posting on social media and kind of went from there and shared my story um, we ended up having the twins and I gained 80 pounds I was not allowed to work out and after meeting with a twin specialist for nutrition um, to really help me grasp my mind around what I had to eat to carry these babies to full term and to keep them healthy um, I started doing that and so I ended up gaining 80 pounds and lost all the weight with Beachbody but it wasn't until I started um, about four months postpartum doing Insanity the workout Insanity and I was posting on my page and I was sharing my journey as I had been the whole time of the pregnancy and moving and all that stuff and um, about a month into the program, I had a few people message me about what I was doing to lose baby weight. And so I told them, hey, I'm doing this program Insanity. I bought it off of Amazon. It's really great. It's helping me lose the baby weight. Matt and I did it a couple years before. It's been fantastic. So um, they went and purchased the program. They started doing the program with me. And I was like, you know, a couple years ago, this girl named Meg reached out to me and asked me about coaching and I completely brushed her off because I was never going to do 
this network thing. I never wanted to be a part of it. I never wanted to um, start a business like this. This was not my thing. So I brushed her off and told her no. Until that day, I was like, you know, I'm no longer working. I am a stay-at-home mom. I'm in this world by myself, I feel like. What do I have to lose? Like, she's able to bring in an income. She's helping people on their health and fitness journey. I think I can give this a shot and see what's up. So I reached out to her, and I listened to a video much like this, and I joined. I asked Matt what he thought, and he gave me his blessing and my his support, and I started this business. So hold on a second. Lincoln just woke up. <laughs> It's real life so for those who don't know we have a six month old and he has been struggling sleeping the last few nights so we'll keep him with husband for a little bit until I can finish this and we'll go tend to him so um, anyway so I started this business and I was like all right if I'm gonna do this I'm gonna go all in I don't have a ton of time I have four month old twins I'm exclu exclusively pumping but I needed something I was feeling very unfulfilled being home um, I think many moms can maybe relate um, you have this dream to be a stay-at-home mom and you welcome these, I, in, my, in my scenario, these babies into your home and you're so excited. And then after a while, I was like, this is a whole different world. This is completely not what I was expecting and I am an introvert. So I thought being home all day without everyone talking to me was going to be fantastic. But I really started to feel unfulfilled. I really started to feel like I was, wasn't using all the gifts, talents, and desires and passions that God had provided me and blessed me with. And I felt like there was a way to use them and a way to bless this kingdom and a way to reach people in a positive, healthy way. And um, so I joined. I did it. I joined for accountability. I joined for community. And I joined for finances. And that's what I joined for. And that's what keeps me here today. You guys, the very things that I was looking for then are the very things that have carried me through for the last five years. Um, if you've been following me for the last five years, you have known that I have, the twins are almost six. We also have a two-year-old daughter and now I have a six-month-old son. So within this coaching journey the last five years, I haven't been in the best shape of my life the whole time. I have grown two more babies. I have had two more uh, postpartum journeys to navigate, to learn, to go through. And I can guarantee you that if it wasn't for coaching, I don't know that I would have been able to get my body back as I have the last three times. Like this has created a whole lifestyle for me. This isn't about achieving a weight loss. This isn't about running the fastest time anymore. This isn't about, you know, having a certain physique or anything like that. Like, yeah, I have those goals, but on the uh, as a whole, this has become my lifestyle. There isn't a start, there isn't a stop. This is just how I live. I live in a healthy lifestyle because of coaching, because of the accountability that it gives me. So the same exact reasons that I joined this business are the same things that keep me today, are the same things that inspire me and motivate me. And honestly, why half of my coaching team has joined my team. They're looking for accountability. They're looking for community and they're looking for some financial freedom in their family. So for accountability, I am a coach. So my job is to show you how these programs work, to show you how our nutrition workshops work, to show you how our performance supplements and Shakeology help you in your day-to-day -day life and help you, they don't replace whole foods, but how they complement that. That's my job. My job is to show you how to do that. So. Being a coach is the best form of accountability. You have people watching you. I run monthly groups. I have ladies that have been with me for the last five years. Like I've watched them go through their transformations. Every month I show up for them. I show up for them through pregnancy. I show up for them through nursing babies. I show up to them through traveling. I was just traveling for the last eight out of 14 days. 
And I still checked in with them. I still shared my food options with them. I shared my treats. I shared how I was taking rest days or I was doing a double workout that day because we had the time. Like I share that with all of them because that's my job is to share how I'm making this a lifestyle and to encourage them to do the same thing. Um, community. I cannot even begin to tell you the community that I have because of coaching. Um, if you have recently or if you've ever gone from working a full-time job to being a stay-at-home mom, you know that transition is pretty tough. We go from talking to adults and talking about adult things to focusing on two or more little people or one person, one little person. And your adult conversation is your husband. And when you talk to your husband, it's about the kids or about what you did that day with the kids or how you're feeling. And I felt very disconnected from the outside world. But now I don't and I haven't. And I have been able to not only be a part of communities, but create communities for other moms to join in. Now that's my accountability groups. I also have a, um, I call, it's called Bumps and Beyond Mama's Group. And I started that group when Hayden, I was 37 weeks pregnant with Hayden and now she's two. And so for the last two years, I have these women, over 800 women with kids, two and under, that is just a safe place for them to ask questions, vent, share frustrations, and just seek help from other moms in a non-judgmental, loving way. Like. I've been able to, to bless others with that because I didn't have that. I didn't have that going through the twins' pregnancy and I needed that. It was such a blessing to have that. And I watched these women come in and ask these questions and it's just so cool to see that by me sharing my journey and to share each stage of my journey and to connect with these women on each stage of my journey has helped me also build a business for my family and help them build a business for their family or help them stay accountable to their health and fitness goals. I have some of my best friends from this business. Um, I just went on a leadership retreat uh, to Vegas with two of them and it's like we pick up right where we left off because we really do talk almost every day because of social media, because of messages. We talk about business, we talk about family. Um, the week before I was at a, a retreat with some of my team members and we were able to hang out with our spouses and build relationships and laugh and build memories. Um, my community is you guys, everyone watching here, everyone that follows me on Facebook and follows me on my Instagram. Like I have friendships with people that have never joined my groups, but we just have this special connection because of coaching. And I remember when I first started this, sitting there going, how am I ever going to learn how to like handle these twin things? And me being an introvert, I don't like to make the initial conversation happen. Um, but coaching forced me to do that because if I wanted to be successful with this business, if I wanted to reach moms on a more personal level, if I wanted to help them with their confidence, with their belief in themselves, then I had to get over my own stuff and ask and take that first step to just say, Hey, how do I bottle feed? How are you pumping? How are you handling that schedule? And just putting myself out there to ask for advice and to build that relationship. And that's so not like me, but because I did, I, I have this huge community and now I can bless people with that information and help them through, um, you know, life. Um, so I have my team, I have my uplines team who is absolutely amazing. But then as a bigger community, I have team Beachbody and we just got back from this leadership retreat and we are a family. We are a team. We are all in this together. And so when you join as a Beachbody coach, you're not just joining my team or my uplines team, but you're also joining the community of team Beachbody and it is positive. It is uplifting. It is focused on helping people live a healthier, fulfilling life and to, to find their purpose and find their, their productiveness and their confidence to live life to the fullest. Um, and I also mentioned that I joined because of finances. And at first when I joined, my finances were to cover Shakeology and maybe a date night. So maybe three, $400, you know, date night, some Shakeology, maybe Manny Petty and pay the babysitter. Then I started to see the opportunity and I started to fall in love with coaching. And then I set the, the financial goal to be a little bit bigger covering things like our, you know, swim, all of the above, and then swim for the kids, or gymnastics for the kids, or um, traveling to Michigan, it was our travel money, and, and then it was covering their preschool tuition, plus all of that, and then it was plus all of that, plus covering our mortgage, and 
you know, now one of the coolest financial stories for us because of Beachbody um, is just in the last 10 months. Um, you know, I told you that we lived in Florida and when we got pregnant with Lincoln, I always told Matthew, if we have four kids, we're moving home. And when we got pregnant with Lincoln, and I told Matt, and I also said that means we're moving home, and I think he thought I was kidding, but I was serious. If I was having more kids, I wanted to move back home. It was getting very expensive to travel to Michigan, and we were missing out on so much. So um, we put our house on the market, and it did not sell, but we fell in love with the house that I'm sitting in today, and we put in an offer, and it was accepted. And so we, when we moved in December, we were going to have the mortgage in our Florida house, we were gonna have this mortgage starting January 1st up in Michigan, and we also have a Traverse City home that we rent out. And so come January, we were gonna have three mortgages. And that's a lot <laughs> of mortgages on one income. We've never used my income on a mortgage. And so when we were trying to get approved to have all of these, it was not going through, it was not happening. And the only reason that we were able to get this house in January to put money down to feel comfortable having juggling the three mortgages we have the Traverse City rented out so that one's covered but juggling these two mortgages for a family of six the only reason we were able to do that is because of Beachbody because of my income we were able to confidently have the bank give us the loan and then more importantly when we took the leap of faith to just go through it and do it, we were able to cover double mortgage from January until June without, without feeling stressed, without feeling like we made the wrong decision, without feeling that we had to cut corners in other areas. Like we still had food on the table. We still were able to get the kids winter gear. We were still able to go on date nights. We were still able to welcome Lincoln and pay for that. And we were able to you know, do a whole new nursery and stuff for him. Like, we weren't living tightly because of Beachbody. Like Beachbody allowed us this move. It allowed us to get back to our dream home and to live with our family. And I didn't know then, five years ago, that we would ever need that money. We, I, that's not why I started that. Like I just wanted accountability community and some fun money. And it ended up being accountability community and life-changing money when it came down to the house. And so I just want to tell you on that part, like maybe you have like this, this little nudge that says coaching, like maybe this could be for you. And you don't know why, because I remember feeling that way. Like why? Like I'm not going to be good at this. I can't sell anything. Like I don't, I don't have, this isn't what I want to do. Like I'm a mom. Like what am I going to do? This is, I don't know how to do this. I don't know why you want me to do this, God. But then when this all happened, I was like, I get it. I get why five years ago I needed to do this for this financial reason. But I, what I've gained in the last five years has been so much more than finances. And as much of a blessing that is, that blessing of finances would have never come had I not gone and, and done the vital behaviors of a coach. If I hadn't worked on myself physically and put the time into my workouts and into my nutrition, if I didn't um, put my faith and my belief in what God's plan for us was, I wouldn't be here today. Like it, it's been a journey and there are so many different facets of my story. And I'm, right now I'm just kind of telling you in a nutshell, but if there's you know, anything, they, they asked us at leadership if we could give one word about what Beachbody has done for us. And I, I'm struggling coming up with one word, so I'm going to give you two. And the two words that I have that I feel like Beachbody has given me outside of finances is it's given me belief. It's given me belief in myself. It's given me belief in something that can work for everybody, in my opinion. It's given me belief in God's plan for our life and where he wanted us and where he's led us. Um... And it took me from a simple-minded living into an abundance-filled living. I had no dreams. I had no plans. I had no aspirations or anything that I really was striving for in life. Um, I was kind of, I don't want to say settled because we were, we were living a great life, but I didn't have anything. Like, I just felt unfulfilled and I felt like, okay, this is going to be my day. I'm going to change diapers and feed babies and raise babies. And, and, and I think that's great. But I just felt unsettled. Like I just didn't feel like that was all 
that I, that God had for me. And now I look at it and I'm like, I have this life of abundance with friends and, and kids and our family and joy and my health, mental, physical, spiritual. Like he wants that for me. He wants so much for me and he wants so much for you. And I truly believe that I would not be where I am today without God using coaching as the vehicle to get me there. And I think God chooses our path using different vehicles. And for me, it was coaching. It was saying, you work on you and figure out you. And then I want you to bless others and help others work on them. And by doing that, I'm going to grow you and I'm going to push you and I'm going to work on you and I'm going to work through you. And that's all because of coaching. And that's all that God wanted for me through this journey has just been belief in myself, belief in him and faith in him and to live life abundantly and not settling for simple or not settling for my comfort zone, but living outside of my comfort zone, knowing that he had it and he is, his plan is greater than anything. And um, so what we do as coaches is we are proof the products works. We share our workouts, we share our nutrition, we, you, we show people how it works for them. We um, share that journey on social media or in person, and we invite others to come along this journey with us, depending on their goals, depending on what they need to do. Um, you know, it's not just saying, okay, do every program. It's talking with them and sharing with people what's been working for you and where you are in your stage of life and connecting with them with where they are. And it's growing as a person. Personal development was the last piece of the puzzle that I fit in, and I want to tell all my coaches and anyone that joins personal development is going to be the first thing that we focus on because when you get your mindset right when you start to to dream a little bit bigger and you start to push past those limiting beliefs that's when the magic happens that's when growth happens and I think when you start to grow as a person that's when your business starts to grow and that's when you start to break through those barriers that you hold against yourself so when you join as a coach I want to like how does this all happen how does coaching do this for you and we have what we call our four vital behaviors and we teach them to you and then once you know what they are we teach you how to implement them every day and when you do those things every day and when you show up and you're consistent you start to like I said break through those beliefs and you start to be accountable to your health and fitness you start to get amazing results you start to live this as a lifestyle instead of a another diet you're going to try another workout program you're going to try you start to create this lifestyle this culture for yourself this community for yourself so once you join as a coach we set you up with a training we teach you the four valid behavior behaviors we teach you how to start living the four valid behaviors we teach you how to set up your business we teach you how to you know post on social media and we teach you to know your story and what your goals are for coaching and um, I think it's important to know that everyone comes into this with different goals and different purposes for coaching. I have some coaches that sign up and they just want to, you know, focus on them for a little bit and encourage a few people along the way. And I have other people that, like me, jumped in here and they're like, okay, I want to do this. I want to, I want to earn an income. I want to help our family. I want to make a, a change in our family finances. So what do I do? And that's what I'm for. I, I help you decide okay, these are your goals, these are the action steps, these are what we need to do. You're the boss, I'm the mentor, and that is one of the coolest things because it's your business, your goals, your desires, your schedule, your activities. I'm just here to mentor you to make sure that you're doing the right activities to help you hit those goals, okay? Um, so what we do on Team FHK is we have two ways that you can enroll, and I will post those in this group shortly. And once you enroll, we get you plugged in with your training. We get you set on that right track. And we start having that conversation of where do you want your business to go? What do you want to do? And we start there. And we go and we walk with you. We run with you. We jog with you. Wherever you want to go in your business, wherever you want to take it, um, that's what we do. We go at your pace. And along the way, we'll push you out of your comfort zone a little bit because that's how we grow. But um, that's it. That's how I got here. It was coaching. It was taking these four vital behaviors and being consistent with them, showing up and just knowing that by me sharing my journey, if I could influence one person every day to make a healthy decision, to get their workout, to believe in themselves, to know that they are worth that workout, I was doing my job. I was starting to fulfill my purpose. And five years later, I have zero regrets. My only regret may be not to not starting sooner because 
it really has changed my life. But I believe timing is everything. And my story had to start there. And so thank you so much for listening. We hope to see you on Team FHK soon, if not this month. Um, but thank you again for listening. I really appreciate it. I'm an open book, so please feel free to message me any questions or if anything resonated with you and you want to know a little bit more about that piece of my story, I'm happy to talk with you one-on-one -on -one as well. So thank you guys for listening. Have an awesome night, and I'll have the recording up tomorrow.